Boolean operators. Let's start off with two variables. I'll say variable A is equals to 5. I'll say variable B is equals to 7. Now I'm going to actually print whether A uh, is, is equals to B. Now keep in mind that uh, I have two equal signs here because two equal signs represent uh, me asking a question, is it equal? Are these two numbers equal to each other? Okay, so let me save it and run it. Go to uh, run module F5. False. So here, 5 is not equals to B. That's the result. Now what if uh, I had only one equal sign? A equals B. What's going on here? So let's run it, F5. And there is a there is an invalid syntax. There's an error. So hopefully my program doesn't crash too much. It's having a problem. When you're printing, you can't actually assign it within the print statement. The print statement is expecting some kind of uh, result, a boolean result, either true or false. So here, it, when, whenever you're not actually assigning the value, but you're just asking a question, is it equal, true or false, uh, you need to have a double equal sign. A double equal sign represents either true or false. This whole condition ends up being either true or false. Let me try putting it this way. I'm going to say result is equals to uh, A is greater than B. So if I say result is greater equals to A is greater than B, if I print result, what's happening here is this is the Boolean condition. And the Boolean operator here is the greater than sign. Is 5 greater than B? The result should be false. So let's try running it. Okay, it looks like we crashed. And the computer is thinking and we're lagging. Oh, it worked. False. So indeed, it, it worked. the computer work, Python works this out first. Is great A greater than B? And the answer is false. And the, the word false, the value false, gets pa stored in the variable result here. I could have done this as well. If I change these numbers to both 5, and I type in equal equals, so it's as if the computer is doing this first. And I can keep those brackets in because they're uh, it's not necessary that you have it, but I want you to I want you to understand that uh, the computer here is resolving this uh, this uh, logic here. Uh, is a equals to b? Is five equals to five? The result is true. Capital T R U E. So let's save this and run it one more time. And I'm hoping that result will be true. Great. Let's try something else. I'm going to change the numbers to a is five and b is ten. Let's try saying the result is A is uh, less than B. And is A less than B? 5 indeed is less than 10, so I'm expecting the result to be true. So let's run this module. It's true. All right, let's try something a little bit more interesting. Let's uh, make this um, both these, these numbers 10. And I'm going to say the result is equals to A is less than or equal to B. Is 10 less than or equals to 10? And the answer is yes, because this here, this operator here, the Boolean operator, represents less than or equals to. All right. So Pac-Man likes uh, eating in a direction that's bigger. So A here is less than or equal to B. B is bigger than A. You see this little Pac-Man mouth symbol there? All right, so this here should be true as well. It's true. All right, let's uh, just kind of change up the code here so you get more practice seeing this code. Is, uh, is B greater than or equals to A? This is the question, and the result is going to be true. Yes, it is indeed equals to A, so the answer is true. True. And let's try another one. How about, uh, is B not equals to A? This here is the Boolean operator for not equals to. Equivalently, you could also go exclamation mark equals, which means not equals to. Both are OK. So is B, I'll just use this one here, because um, so is B not equals to A? Well, 
B actually is equals to A. So this here should be false. False. So the result is false. So I hope you understand that uh, um, there's uh, several different types of Boolean operators. We have the less than sign, less than or equal to sign. We have greater than sign, greater than or equal to sign. You have the not equal to sign, same as, not, e not equals, as well as uh, we have the equal equal sign, which means compare. This means a sign. Congratulations, you now have deeper insight with Boolean operators, which will be very important as we learn about the if statement.